students this video is all about how the biology paper for icc 10 is going to be so as you know it is an 80 mark paper for which you get 2 hours to write and in that 2 hours you are supposed to cover section a and section b section a is a compulsory section where question number 1 is all mcq 15 questions will come all mcq now this mcq can be from any of the chapters there is no exclusion there. Question number 2, 25 marks consists of 5 different sections. Name the following logical sequence question, match the following question, odd one out question and exact location question. Coming to the other part that is section B, you will have 6 questions given to you. Among the 6 you are supposed to pick 4 and write all the 4. Each of them, each of the question is a 10 mark question. So how is this 10 mark divided? It's divided as a 1 mark question, 2, 2, 2 and 3 mark question under the each of them. That is question number 3 will be 10 mark. It will be subdivided like this. Question number 4 will be again same way. Alright, one more thing to keep in mind is every time a 1 mark question is asked, it is usually a defined question. Or expand the following question. Expand following meaning expand ATP, ex expand uh, IAA and questions like that. Two mark questions can be either differentiate between or function of a particular thing. Any one of those questions are usually coming. Another possibility is give reason. A statement is given like for example, uh, if fresh water fish is put in a salt water, if they burst, what, why is that? Give the reason for that. Or give reason why a person who is diabetic feels thirsty. G reason out kind of question. That is again coming for two mark. Last type is three mark diagram based or di draw diagram. So what is the difference between them is a diagram would be given to you and then questions would be asked from it for three marks. For example, a diagram of one of the stages of mitosis is a compulsory question. 100% such a question comes. They would give you a question like the diagram of mitosis is a uh, uh, metaphase of mitosis is given and they ask you to identify the phase, write the features of the phase, write the next phase, which which phase would come on, um, come after that. Such kind of questions come and they are called as diagram based. Out of the six question, Four of them are that type. But there are other two types where you have to draw the diagram. So if you're not very good at drawing the diagram, you can opt diagram based instead of draw diagram section. Draw, draw diagram is a direct question. For example, it will ask you to draw the um, cross section of kidney or nephron or neuron. So it's questions like that. Going back to the syllabus, you all know the syllabus very well, at least now. Uh, chapter 14 that is human evolution is deleted. Chapter 1 is only for revision. The rest of the chapters, this is only my guess. Comparing all the year's question papers, I have always found certain chapters carry a lot of marks compared to other chapters. So I have um, guessed and then given these subdivisions of marks, but it may not be exactly correct. But if you notice things like questions like uh, uh, questions from chapters like population, pollution are very less compared to actual processes of photosynthesis, tran transpiration, absorption by root or your proper zoology part where circulatory system, excretory system, all those come. So you can have a look at somewhat idea you will get and then you will probably understand how to study or what to give more importance and study. I'll also make a video on uh, which all are the possible diagrams and um, which all are the questions that come under logical sequence questions. Thank you.